What's up, LJ? What you doing? Shit, um, right now, we in the wood together. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Smoking that crack. Yeah, yes, yes. Fire. The usual, <laughs> yeah. That's what I do. Tell me a little bit about where you from and where you grew up. Yeah, okay. I grew up uh Chicago, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Southeast side. Chi Town. Chi Town, Chi you know what I'm saying? Um there till I was like most of the time till I was like 17, 18, um and then I was kinda all over Chicago, uh shit, what kind of from in Chicago? Southeast side projects, Jamano Bill Gates. Where was, like, growing up? Yeah. Shit, it was just, like... Shit, just a lot of fucking... A lot of hustling shit. A lot of fucking... Um... A lot of hustling, a lot of bullshit, a lot of drugs. A lot of arguing. You always hear arguing upstairs, downstairs. A lot of bullshit. Some shit. started that shit, we started that shit going back and forth, um, we started Platinum Boys, the group, the record label, the clothing line, basically, um, when I was going back and forth to Chicago, we started that shit real young, it was just a couple of us, me, my boy, Dre Boy, my nigga, Killer E, then my nigga, like, bass and all that joint and shit, but, um, yeah, shit, we started when we was, like, shit, probably, like, 14 or some shit, I started real young. Already pushing clothes and shit, all types of shit like that and shit. Right, so how did you branch out from being in a group for so long? Um, shit, um, I always was like a producer and like a beat maker and like a recorder, like an engineer to, you know what I'm saying? I always assisted people with their music, so a group thing for me was a natural feeling for me, so. You know what I'm saying? It helped me put put out, uh, help people assist other guys with their music and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was because it was a group of artists, gang of artists, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that shit helped me. You know what I'm saying? Put that shit out, and uh, um, it helped. It, it taught me, you know what I'm saying? How to how to handle customers, all types of shit. How to handle people in the studio and shit. So I branched out to just start. You know what I'm saying? I started off making my own shit, got with the group to help make shit, and then started back making my own shit. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, were you always, like, the producer of the group? I think, and that's how you branched out? Yeah, like, sort of always the... I was always, like, already the engineer and shit. Kind of already on this shit. Like, already studying how to, like, record people, how to, um... Do the, yeah, I was kind of like, yeah, like the guy to record everybody of the group. And then I kind of taught my guy how to make some beats when we was real young, too. When we was like 12 years old, I taught him how to make beats, too, which is amazing. Yeah, Crazy. Shout out my boy, Dre. Mm -hmm. So, are you working on anything as a way to Yeah, I'm working on, uh... 
yeah, I'm dropping a lot of shit. Uh, Shout out to everybody supporting. Uh, all my people, shit, all my family, all my friends, whatever, whatever. Love all y'all, don't take the whatever, it's too serious. But um, dropping all types of shit, because I'm trying to collaborate, work with different people, show my talent. And uh, right now I'm working on a whole lot of shit. I'm working on shit. Tons of new beats, um, tons of new songs. Uh, I don't got no planned out days really yet. Cause I just be releasing, sh- releasing so much shit. Right. And we actually just dropped a song. Video and LJ Dave, the Truth. Video and LJ the Truth. On his YouTube, LJ the Truth. Yes, sir. Y'all go check that out. Um, my man, y'all go check that new shit out. With video on that, man. Featuring video. I already know. Go run that shit up. Go like that shit. Go comment on that shit. Whatever. But yeah, just different, different. Um, I'm gonna be dropping a ton of singles and a ton of beats. Uh, I'm gonna be shooting music videos. I'm gonna be editing music videos. I'm gonna be um, um, editing art. I'm gonna be mixing and mastering. Um, dropping a whole lot of shorts and dropping tips and stuff for different, you know, smaller producers and all that. So. I'm gonna be dropping a ton of stuff, and I'm gonna be trying to drop some merch and like beat kits and shit. So when you're making all these things, where are you getting your drive from? Uh, I get the drive for this shit from my art because I love. I just love to make music. I just I always had a love for music since I was a kid. I always knew what I kind of wanted to do since I was a shorty. Shorty LJ just, you know what I'm saying? Just making beats already. I started when I was fucking 10, 11 years old making beats. So really? And then I started taking shit real serious. You know what I'm saying? When everybody started like telling me, you know what I'm saying? You know, the shit is hot. So I guess like family and friends or whatever is my, my main drive and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I guess like the love for music is my drive, you know? So. Along with um, that question. Um, who are some artists that um, have inspired your music and helped you continue Oh, that's a good one. Um, a lot of artists that keep me going on, like, but like the stuff I see, like different produ- big producers doing, like Dr. Dre, um, like just different producers, like um, Zaytoven, um, like all the projects that he be putting out. Southside here producer, I like, you know what I'm saying? I like, uh, uh, let me see who else, shit, uh, I like a lot of different people, but, um, so yeah, I'm a few of the people I've been watching out and, like, watching their movies and shit, and they give me the influence and, like, you can, you know, mix it on my sound and shit, I like that. Hard shit, you know what I'm saying? That's what the fuck I do. Oh. What else you got for me? <laughs> for real. Ooh. That's a good, 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 good question. basically want a platform like you know what i'm saying get my youtube as big as possible you know what i'm saying be able to just release good music for people um i also want to assist smaller artists you know what i'm saying give people that chance that i never had and shit you know um i also want to be like donating free equipment and shit in like five years like helping people out who can't afford equipment and shit like that you know what i'm saying and um 
I just see myself like assistant artists on the side, you know what I'm saying? And just mainly, you know, pushing a lot of music and pushing a lot of beats, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I, that's why I see myself. And also pushing some merch and some cartoon shit if I can get my hands into it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to add things, so. And I like to shoot shit too, shoot music videos and all that shit too. So I'm going to be doing something and everything.